you know, listen, I want to cut through the show opening a little bit and cut right to what my rant is because I've been talking to lots of people the last few days. I've been getting lots of emails and things on my Twitter account basically asking about us going into war in Syria and people are concerned about this because we've been through so many different military involvements and wars over the past few years and here we are now about to enter into Syria. Now what's going over there, you know, it's just horrible and you don't want to see innocent people and civilians getting killed and we need to put an end to that. You can't really have mass murder at that level or any level and we're going to be a country that represents freedom and a country that wants to help people that are oppressed and stand by idly and do nothing. Then we become nothing more than a paper tiger. We, you know, we're a superpower without the super or the power. So we need to step in and do something. But here's the thing that you have to think about. People are like, we had Iraq, we have Afghanistan, now Syria. How many times are you going to go into the Middle East and get involved in nations that really don't like us? No matter how much we do there, liberate them, help them, get a new government in, a democratic government, set up a constitution, do all these different things to help them, and guess what? At the end of the day, their kids are still being taught in school that America's the bad guy, Israel's the bad guy. If we get a bomb and we get the chance, we nuke them. You know, you're not going to make changes the way things are going on. You have to change culture. You have to change the way the people are brought up and educated. And I don't know if how we're doing it now is going to get that done. But the point of this rant isn't about any of the war or any of that. Because think back years ago when Obama was running for president, he said, I'm getting us out of war. We're not going to go into war anymore. We're going to try to focus on America. We want to be a peaceful country. So since that's happened, and think back and remember during the debates, the Bush whole administration, McCain when he was running, everybody got bashed because the Republicans were pushing war. The Democrats supposedly pushed peace and non-war. And everyone thought we're getting out of all these places real quick. And guess what? It never happened. We still stayed in the thick of it for a while in Iraq. We stayed in the thick of it in Afghanistan. We're contemplating Iran for all this time. And now there's Syria. All this is going to be happening soon. And I'm bringing this up because I want everybody to go to my Facebook page. Look me up on Facebook, Attorney Adam Thompson, Adam Thompson. Go to my website, www.attorneyadamthompson.com, because I want you to watch from years and years ago a comedy bit that's not so funny but more re reality that George Carlin did. I posted it on my site because this sums up what I've been saying to all you guys for years, and, and it's true. And he said it going back probably 10, 20 years ago, and it holds true today like it did back then. Folks, it's time to wake up, okay? This isn't about Republicans. It isn't about Democrats. It isn't about conservatives. It isn't about liberals. That's why I start my show saying that. Everyone needs to get independent thought. Everyone needs to not be sheep and just follow people blindly. You have to look at facts, make your own decisions. Because guess what, folks? Whether it's a Democrat in office, whether it's a Republican in office, these people are controlled by big corporations, by big money. Because you notice, no matter who's in office, we still go to war. We spend billions into trillions of dollars on funneling the war machine on places we probably shouldn't even be. And why? Because it makes the rich get richer. This is what everyone has to understand. Listen carefully. I'm going to say it. Here it comes. This should change your whole life and how you think and view everything forever. It isn't conservative Republican. It isn't about political parties. That's all a facade. It's all BS. It's nonsense. Who we elect, Republicans, Democrats, Independents, conservative, the most liberal, the most left-wing, the most right-wing, it's all BS. It doesn't matter who they are. They get behind closed doors. They all shake hands. They smoke cigars. They drink their beer or their nice bottles of Johnny Blue, and they laugh. It comes down to this, folks. It's 1%. Versus 99%. It's the very elite rich versus the very poor who's everybody else. And until people realize this and wake up, things are never going to change. Because the 1% never, ever wants to see the 99% move up or improve. We'll let the poverty and the super poor become a little less poverty and a little less poor. And maybe we'll make the little class have a little bit better. Maybe we'll give the middle class a 60-inch plasma instead of a 47-inch plasma. And they're so stupid, they'll say, hey, guess what? That's great. 
they're all happy now. They got a bigger TV. And you know what? Instead of a half rack of ribs, we'll let them have a full rack of ribs. And guess what? Throw in the free NFL channel when they order cable. That'll shut them up for a while. But guess what? Republicans, Democrats, none of it matters. Why? Do we still have any kind of affordable health care program? No. Now, do the people sitting in Congress, do all, the, do all the different senators and all the people in the executive branch have these great benefits? They have every single health benefit, retirement plan, all the things that they campaign saying you should have. They already got it, folks. They already got it. They're enjoying the good life. They don't worry about paying for medical bills and getting best doctors. They don't worry about who's going to pay for their retirement when they go. They get full salaries and above that when they leave, not to mention all the kickbacks and all the money they're making on the side from all the sweet deals they're pushing through on statutes and laws. It's time to wake up. We need people outside these political parties. We need people outside all these different Democrats, Republicans, independents. All of that is nonsense. We need people who are going to represent working class people, poor people that come from within the ranks. If you haven't been there, you don't know it. I grew up in East Flatbush, Brooklyn. My mom was a telephone operator. I didn't know if I was having a winter coat to wear year from year. I wore the same shoes with holes in them for two years. You think Mitt Romney has any relation to any of that? You think Obama does? Obama's trying to present himself as a man of the people. He grew up with rich parents and went to private schools. Come on, people, wake up. It's all a facade. It's all BS. It's one percenters versus 99 percenters. Go listen to my George Carlin clip that I put on there because he does it as a comedy bit, but all his comedy was always based on fact and based on reality to get people to think. Because if you can make them laugh, maybe they'll stop for a minute and pause and say, you know what, he's right. He was right. This is what's got to change. Please, you watch debates, it doesn't matter what they say. Nothing's changed in decades. And everyone has had the opportunity to make change. Obama had full control over both houses with a, with a majority vote that couldn't have been veto-proof. He could have did whatever he wanted. If he wanted health care plans for everyone, it could have passed. It never happened. Why? Because that's not where the smart money is. You need to take care of the big boys, the rich people. And that's what goes on. That's why all the people on Wall Street walked and none of them got prosecuted. That's why the banks got away with trillions of dollars in fraud. We not only didn't prosecute them, we let them walk. We let them take their bonuses after we busted them for not taking bonuses. So with that said, folks, Time to wake up. I want you to post emails on my site. I want you to be angry. Post on your sites how you heard this and it pissed you off. And you're sick of this kind of stuff. And you want to get these kind of politicians out. We need to change the political machine that's just going in circles and screwing all of us.